Hi, this is Desiree, and I am going to go over a brief summary of the blog talk radio show that I had yesterday, Monday, November 26, 2018. And the title of the show is 365 Days Business Challenge for 2018 and 2019. The options are many. The goal of our 365 day challenge for our business is to do something each day to effectively promote your business on a daily basis for the next 365 days. And for those who tuned in to my show yesterday, they completed day number one of the challenge. And I'm just going to kind of summarize what we kind of talked about. Um, one of the things that was uh, mentioned is that you do need to get a domain name for your website or your blog. And this is going to be a name that's going to be yours uh, for your product, your service. And, you know, it should have a catchy thing to it. An example is if you are really um, dedicated to smoking cessation. So you may want your domain name to be something that um, deals with smoking cessation. And you want to make it unique and you want to make it yours. You can purchase um, domain names from... Um, Various hosts such as Bluehost, um, you can purchase them from GoDaddy. If you're interested in a free hosting um, for your uh, domain, you can get one from Blogger or from WordPress, which are free. Um, any of these um, have blog templates and website templates so that you can make your blog or website professional looking and you can continue to work on it. And that can be part of your 365 days business challenge because you are going to be developing your website and your blog. And that's going to take you some time. And then if you don't have a product that you are currently right now um, selling or you're not really sure about an ideal that you um, want to have, I encourage you to look at some of the blogs that are out there that are available. You can always go to my blog, richrichhomeopportunities.com, anytime that you want to. I am frequently updating, and I will have resources on there and continue to update those as well. And what this domain is going to do for you is going to help you to build that blog, that website, and this is going to help you to start branding yourself. And you're going to do that by being able to post original content which advertises and it markets your business and it's a branding for yourself and a promotion for yourself. Um, a blog is a, it's helpful for any product or service that you're promoting. And that's for people that maybe you're selling Avon, maybe you're a jewelry seller, maybe you're an affiliate marketer, maybe you just want to get the ideal about, ideal out about a particular area that you are you find it very important to you and you can blog on that um, and you, uh, I basically like to promote a certain product or service on my blog and there's always a link back to the website that um, I own such as for Avon I will point back to um, my Avon site however I like to feature certain products on there so that people know kind of what they are going to be looking for and it interests them and it's the products that I use because that's the best way to help people to be interested in what it is that you are promoting. Um, everyone should have business cards for your website or for your blog also. Business cards, you keep those with you everywhere that you go, take them because that is a very easy way to market and it's a very effective networking tool for you, and it will help individuals to want to visit your blog or your website. And that could be, you know, some of the days that you're doing this 365 um, days business challenge is that you are handing out your business cards regularly, and you also need to make sure that you order them as well. One of the things that I also let everyone know um, on the Blog Talk Radio Show, the domain name, getting your website or your blog set up, that's just the basic um, information. We will be going more in depth 
in each segment of the Blog Talk Radio Show, and we will focus on different segments. I hope to get comments from um, the Blog Talk Radio Show as well as on my blog, so that we tailor this for all of us because this is a motivational tool for us. Because sometimes it's hard to get motivated to actually do something and to actually promote yourself every day. But the only way a store that is, you know, a store that you would go to, the only way they are able to stay in business is that they continuously must get the word out. They must have products that people um, would like to actually um, buy, or they need to have a business ideal that people have bought into so that they can get those individuals to visit the store again and again and again. And that is true of any website or any blog, you are doing the same thing. So this is a motivational tool, this 365 days. It's to help you to get motivated. We want to be able to help you to develop some great roots and develop your commitment to promoting your business each day. Um, so for everyone that was listening to the Blog Talk radio show yesterday, Monday, um, that I told them welcome you know, to the first day of their business challenge. Um, for me, what I will be doing, and I went over this, I'm going to be promoting the Blog Talk radio show every Monday. Um, I'm going to have a segment that's set aside for us just to go over our 365 days business challenge and kind of see where everyone is. You know, if we have callers, we will have guests from time to time as well to talk about what they have done in the past. Um, so we will have guest speakers. I will be inviting those. If I hope to have um, one soon that I would like to have um, individuals that are um, team members or you are part of the team and what you're doing is effective. I would love to have you chime in and to give input and to give feedback and to also be hosts on those shows as well, as well as individuals who are pretty comfortable with um, what they're doing as far as their marketing and their advertising goes. So for me, um, anybody that tunes into my blog talk radio show, one of the things that I always do is I will always do the show. I always go back and I will put a summary of the show also on YouTube so that individuals are able to listen to that as well. And then I always make sure that I blog about it on um, the blogs that I have through Blogger and WordPress. And I have, you know, they are under um, Bluehost. And then the other thing that I will do is I will edit my blog so that I can also submit it to article uh, marketing websites as well. Um, one of the ones that I belong to is Ethan Articles, and I'm an expert uh, author there. And so I will post it there also. Then I'm going to actually make sure that I have it on Facebook. And then um, I'm going to take a day to do and hand out my business cards. Now, for me, that is going to cover me from days one through seven. Now, on day number eight, I can choose to do something different, or what I plan on doing is I'm going to repeat my days one through seven again for a two week period. And so that means that I'll do the blog talk radio show. I will, the next day, we'll post on YouTube. The next day, I will do, um, you know, I'll decide which blog I want to get my information ready for. And then I'll get my article ready. And then I'll get Facebook ready. And I always have my business cards. And I'm going to be ordering some of those today because I handed out quite a few of them um, yesterday also, just because I wanted to promote that blog talk radio show. Um, and the other thing that, so that takes me up, that's a whole two-week period for me. Um, the other thing that I was letting everyone know um, on the um, Blog Talk radio show, if you are having a hard time trying to figure out the best way to market your business cards, I created a blog post on richandrichhomeopportunities.com, um, and it's called 127 Great Places to Leave Your Business Cards. And so go over that and, you know, see if some of those ideals are things that you can put into your schedule. Um, I would love to hear comments back on other ideals that you may have also. Um, and just remember that anywhere that you can place a business card, don't forget about, you know, uh, flyers, posters, uh, postcards, um, brochures, any of that. Anywhere you can put business cards legally, then you can also leave your brochures 
your postcards and posters. So um, the options are many that you can actually do uh, that and have an effective marketing and advertising tool to help you to brand yourself and to be more professional. And then the other thing that I told everyone is that at the end of the two-week process, I recommend taking an inventory and I actually purchased a business calendar and it's totally for my business. It's totally for this 365 um, business days challenge so the individuals will be able to uh, keep themselves honest, keep myself honest and schedule in what I'm going to be doing for my business at least in a two week increment. I believe that I can you know, do that and so that's how I'm going to start. And um, I, I would encourage anyone that if you have a hard time figuring out how you want to structure your day, a calendar is an effective way to do that so that you remember, you know, hey, oh, this is the day I was going to do this to my blog, or I had this idea that I was going to post about on my blog, or I had this little tweak that I wanted to do to my website, uh, and various other ideas. This is where I'm going to go and hand out business cards today. So when you're taking that inventory, count that as a day on your 365 days business challenge because it takes work to be able to promote yourself effectively. And taking an inventory, that may take time because you're going to find out in your two-week period what worked well for you and what may not have worked and you don't have to do it again. Um, I also am going to be uploading an ebook to Rich and Rich Home and it's basically the ebook is a it's a compilation of everything that I've kind of been doing since I have been um, marketing myself online with Rich and Rich Home Opportunities um, since 2007, and there are many of you that have much more expertise than that, and so we really encourage you to come out and visit us and kind of give us your insight and let us know about your blog or your website that's working well, and so I'll, my sample schedule would look at something like this. So on Monday I would do blog talk radio show. On Tuesday I'm going to always make sure that I uh, post my summary of that blog talk radio show on YouTube. On Wednesday I'm going to also make sure that I do a blog post for Blogger. On Thursday I do a blog post for WordPress. On Friday I'm going to be posting on Facebook. Then on Saturday I'm going to get my blog ready to, I'm going to edit it so I can get it ready so I can submit it to um, some article marketing websites. And that for me would be definitely easy uh, articles. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be on Sunday, the seventh day, I will be handing out my business cards. So that's one through seven. That's my schedule. And then um, my next week is going to be a repeat of that. And then I'm going to take that time out to do that inventory to see what's working and what's not working. Um, so on my blog talk radio show, I will. Uh, the next episode is going to be um, on Monday. That's coming up, and so what I'm going to do is I will send that information out to everyone. You can also see the information on richrichhomeopportunities.com. I'm going to post, um, I have a blog talk um, radio show link on this, so you can kind of get an idea of what that show will include. It will have um, a check-in for the 365 days business challenge, but I'm also going to move on with new content as well. So that is it. That is a summary of our blog talk radio show that we had on Monday, November 26, 2018. Thank you for listening and be effective and promote and brand yourself on a daily basis or at least for this 365 days business challenge.